so students we'll start with our fifth chapter safety and security so first we'll start with a brief learning of the outcomes we'll understand the difference between safety and security we'll also talk about list of duties and the responsibilities the management takes a note on in the context of safety and security in hotels we'll also talk about the process of outsourcing safety so on the completion of chapter 5 we'll be able to understand all of this so let us just start with our unit 5 section 1 we'll talk about introduction so let us go through the introduction and understand what it says safety and security are two terms commonly used for one meaning that is safeguarding of human and physical assets safety as a term is used for prevention and protection from situations like disasters emergencies fire prevention and protection injuries and damage to properly whereas security is the term which is used to fight against fear anxiety doubts concerning humans as well as protection against terrorism and thefts of guest or hotel property so in short safety is related to situations and safety is more inclined towards human existence and interference with this we finish section 1 of unit 5 we'll move on to section 2 which will include the roles in section 2 of unit 5 we'll talk about role of management of safety and security so it's a legal duty of the management to provide hazard free work environment for their employees and a hazard free environment for the guests to stay comfortably without the fear of losing their life or without the fear of their security as a whole there are various safety measures that the management should conduct in the hotel with the main aim to identify and eliminate hazards before they cause serious problems or accidents specifically if we talk about housekeeping department or front office probably there is a specific team wherein they uh, take proper measures and they have proper equipments and chemicals or procedures to take care of the guests also the employees so this is the end of section 2 role of management very simple pointers and very easy to understand for all of you we shall move on to our third section of unit 5 students also note this diagram down this is an organization of a security department at first we have the director of security underneath him we have assistant director of security he basically takes care of the shift supervisor so if there is three shift supervisor one at the main porch which is the reception area one uh, at the uh, employee entrance and the other who is on rounds okay and there are the different associate security guards who take who is under these each individual shift supervisor parking lot should preferably be adjacent to the male building rather than the basement if this avoid unavoidable the hotel parking lot should require the guest to cross the lobby and the reception area in order to reach the car parking valet service should be suggested to single lady guests to avoid the occurrence of skippers also walkouts at the main entrance of the hotel a rear view mirror must be placed 
in order to check the vehicles moving in and out of the hotel. Also, boom barriers may be installed to prevent unauthorized entry and exit of vehicles. After the attack of 27-11, many hotels have started scanning and searching the underneath of cars and the car bonnets and car boot, that is the luggage box at the rear. So students, with, the, uh, with this, I end the conclusion. So you see, this is a very interesting uh, and a very small uh, topic, a very small chapter. Kindly go through this because this is a very important one. And uh, again, if do you, you have any uh, questions to ask, kindly note it down and I shall answer and get back to you with the same. With this, I end chapter 5. The fee, uh, fifth section is having a key point during training. Considering certain key points that should be, you know, kept in mind. The first point says safety methods should be taught, highlighting the areas of potential danger and guarding procedures. The usage of safety equipments should be demonstrated along with explanation on their location inside the hotel and outside the hotel also and the use of first aid material. Developing the availability in the people working in an establishment, recognizing the signs of hazard around them. Teaching the staff the legal implications and the non-adherence to safety procedures. Very simple, I believe, students. You will be able to understand what it says. Now, safety engineering. Safety engineering is the one which includes all the features that can be included in the structure of the hotel. At the time of construction or as a part of facilities in the equipment, furniture, fittings, in their proper arrangement with the in space. Talking about safety rules enforcement, only in theoretical knowledge of policies and procedures is not enough. So what do we have to do? The proper implementation and periodic follow-up is very necessary. And it can be possible only while the staff is well motivated. But this does not come easily. And why? We need proper rules. We need proper, you know, follow-ups with the measures. We shall talk about occupational safety and hazard standards. Now every country has its own standard or occupational hazard and safety management which is called in short in abbreviation it is OHSMS according to their requirements. So in India we have ISI 1500 is to 2000. The Indian standards on occupational health and safety management system specification and guidance for use has been published and followed which is made considering indian needs now this system focuses on classifying work activities identifying hazards and determining risk also tolerance level preparing risk risk control action plan and checking Efficiency of the action plans. With this, section 5 is completed. We shall move on to section 6 which will include controlling of fire hazards. Now this is your fourth section wherein we will talk about the elements of safety and discuss in details about the first point which is education. We shall talk about safety education. So the first pointer is success of a safety programs and policies completely depends on staff motivation and training. The best time to introduce safety and security procedures 
and policies to staff is during their induction definitely so once when you will join hotel industry uh, a basic safety measures will be introduced to you of the particular hotel the different programs that they follow and the different methods that you have to have thorough knowledge about and the informations and the responsibilities that you have to consider while taking an actual uh, performance appraisal employees participating should be encouraged and their good ideas should be incorporated praised or rewards so once you attain a thorough knowledge and understand what safety is education will be enlightened and thus we shall attain higher level of satisfaction from our end the hotels end wherein we are comfortable enough wherein the department heads are you know relaxed a little bit that each and every staff is well trained whatever situation may come in the near future we are well trained on the same we are well accustomed to you know uh, run any possible situations any difficult situation in a smooth way so with this we end the fourth section we shall move on to the fifth section